Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to start a whole new series on actually this bunker that I just have put a preview out for. So I hope you enjoyed that preview for those who have already seen it. Um, we're going to actually start going to, sh I'm going to show you how to build my hallways on this one. And I hope you enjoy just the run through of this, this build. It's been a lot of fun with my friends and family that come on and play with me and uh, we, we just have a good old time. So um, I just am very glad to share this with all of you guys and um, hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a thumbs up if you like it and uh, let me know. Well, let's get on to doing this. All right, if you guys don't mind, I, uh, I need some wood right here before we really get started to really build out my hallways. I don't know what happened to this tree. But I, I definitely need a lot of wood, so uh, I'll probably speed this up or skip it and uh, yeah, help save some time there for you guys. Yeah, it's just so nice up here. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the spruce personally for design. I mean, to each their own, right, right, right. But uh, spruce, giant spruce trees really do, really, really do help out with getting a lot of wood when you need a lot of wood. Oops. So I think I got, I think I got enough wood for what I need for the chests that I need to build. And don't forget to put down some trees, you know, you know, you gotta replace the trees that you cut down. <clears throat> I'll take a sapling. So I think, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. On the way back down through this wonderful piece. The entry room. The first floor. Floors go down, uh, you know, down. So this will be first floor, second floor is down. Let's go double check the iron chest. That's good, all right, all right. Well, we don't need poppies, but bone meal's a nice source. A little built-in so I get bone meal instead. Yeah. A little versatile there. A little versatile. It's great. Do need some oak wood though. Oak wood is my main go-to. I've been playing with it way too long. Let's see here. My little oak trees. I gotta build a bigger oak room. Yeah. That's another pro work in progress. And another fun way to get bone meal. Take some good old shears and just go to town. Go, go for it. Go for it. I'll go until the shears are gone. Doesn't take too long. Come on, break. Break. Really? Really? You're gonna leave me with like nothing. All right. Good old collection there. I 
I guess I will put this one hitter quitter in the freaking chest. Oh, not my bed. Oops. Oop. But back to what I was saying for more bone meal. Put oak leaves in. And you got bone meal. Okay. Just got chickens running around. Floor two. Yes, I have some oak wood already saved up. And some chests. Alright. And we're going to need some stone bricks. At least a couple stacks of those. I think I have enough. I'll just go ahead and sell it. Four. All right, we're at floor two. Floor three. That's gonna be my bigger tree room down there. But I have this pre-dug out already, so. And I have a slime infestation. Yeah, easy slime at least. So I present to you what would need to be dug out around this quadrant. It would be three in the center here, and then nine on each side dug out. That would be a total of 21 if my math is incorrect. It is also about 31 to 32 blocks out to be exact for what I need for my tunnels because they're five sections a piece. And it's only five high. One, two, three, four, five. So it's not too bad. It's a quick, easy build. Nice little compact system. And not a lot of digging just for. Oh, excuse me. I'm a little hungry there. Um, so just, just uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit. Let's go ahead and set a set of chests here. Go ahead and take those away. For now, we're gonna go ahead. And go ahead and line it out because I do it every six. So there's a three wide pathway. And there will be a solid log on each side. But there would be count it six out. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, six. Six. So bam. Back up three. One, two, three. On the fourth one, place it. Again. I just line myself back. Hopefully I line it up both ways. There you go. That's a good start right there. And let's go ahead and make a couple sets of stacks of oak law or oak planks excuse me I start out with building a stack of six two by three and then go all the way down oops looks like that's getting moved Boom. You're going to need quite a bit of wood, lots of wood for this design. If you want to replicate it and bring it into your world, be my guest. I'd be honored. I feel that this design is a very nice compact. I've done a lot larger one in the past. But my goal with this bunker is to be able to set at the center which is zero zero of spawn which is entertaining um, and be able to sit there and have all my all of the farms in it that would be functioning so just one giant bunker that you can just AFK with a fully automated sorting system built into it so okay since those are two done bam Easy peasy. Now I'm going to drop off my oak wood. 
This is why I really wanted the dark oak. Chests, lots of chests. In this process, I'll probably make five crafting tables for the hallway, but one extra. Six, so one to play with right now because I need a crafting table just to throw down, and I put them everywhere. Never know when you need a crafting table. All right. Some chests. Oh, that's not even enough. That'll do. I'll save those for later. Come grab these in a minute. But yeah, it takes a lot of chests. And I will need my stack of general upwood. Of course, crouch you guys, and you guys can place chest on chests. And then in between them, a nice big old stack of four. Actually, don't forget, before you get up there, at the final end, you're going to need your oak. You are going to need your oak. Try to keep your oak logs as whole as possible for just the raw finish. If you're scrambling for wood, I know it's a struggle. If you're wondering, each chest, it's uh, five, and then we'll total of 10 per section. So each of these rows have like 50 chests a piece in them. Or is it? Is it more? Yeah, no, it's 50. It's 50. Why am I second guessing myself here? For 10 per row. No, actually, that makes 100 chests. What is wrong with me? My math is completely off. I'll just leave that one up there since I have extra. I'll come back up there. I'll come back around. For me, just a second ago, that was weird. All right, now since we're up here, we go ahead and uh, knock that out, and let's bust out some raw, raw wood. Oh, the iron farm's working right above me. That's good. It's good. I always gonna need a lot of iron for this. Next part, let's go ahead and make yourself another stack. If you have a lot of wood, another stack of oak planks, run them across. Oh no, I'm stuck. I just jumped down, I already had doorways already pre cut out. Those are just temporary so I can get every, everything built and fixed or made. do it all over again I'll go ahead and uh, kind of fade this one so much wood oh oops looks like I forgot to clear that ain't much a little bit of dirt dirt didn't hurt All right, so now that's all in place. Just two for every pillar go down and around. And 
Yep, yep, yep. It's too tall of them. And the stone bricks will come in right behind these. And then we can work on the floor. Yep, just fill it in. That's all it is. It's about a couple sacks, to be honest. And also, a little fun thing about this little uh, world is that it's prepping for the 1.20 update, and that we are just limited to only um, a thousand blocks out. So, when the update hits, we'll have the world update besides the first 1,000 1, blocks. And so, it's been a little interesting uh, limiting this brand new world right before 120, getting it prepped for. Getting this whole item sort of built just just for the new items and everything and having a fully functional bunker. Well see. Wow, oh, that came along pretty well. Honestly, I'll probably end up updating light later if I get frog lights or some more shroom lights or something. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Well, let's dig it out. Hopefully I don't fall. Alright, I'll go ahead and speed this up for you guys. Okay, wow, okay, I was gonna speed this up, but uh, that was, I gotta say, that was a big, big deposit really big worth it what was that 42 that was, that was a good deposit of just random iron all right that goes more towards this order Yeah, right in smacks dead center of every single one of those. I've been doing enough to catch it pretty good. So it should be five crafting tables. So you can just turn around whatever item you're you trying start. to find and be able to craft well, it up. I showed you how to build my hallways on this and what the idea was. I mean, the center room is usually, like, literally at the center torch here is zero, zero coordinates. And all I did was go eight out for the walls on each side. So it's like technically like a 14 by, by 14 inner room or 16 by 16 by the wall. And a chicken egg. But chickens. Good old guilt farm. open season all right well that's how I, I built my my first hallway or how I did all the hallways and I will continue to do that that way down through this whole bunker you can match it up how you wish you want to do it all right YouTube with this is a great run of uh, building all the hallway and one of the one of the hallways in the bunker and I hope you guys enjoyed the quick little run through of just collecting a lot of wood and uh, then turn around and make a lot of chests that 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 was like 200 chests in that that, that one little room and that would be like at least almost like I want to say another at least 250 hoppers minimum 
for to finish each of those hallways. So uh, it's a quite a, quite a bit of work, and just keep uh, like and subscribe and keep up with this as I continue to build this. I'll put out more content on it, and I hope you guys enjoy. I guess I'll see you around. Peace.